Graves. Is it allowed to visit graves and sit down around the grave and recite the Quran? First of all, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, this is called Hadith al-Jarida. When you go to a grave, place something green on the grave. Everything living, such as greenery meaning something alive, like a branch, anything, that, a plant of sorts that was alive. While it's green, it is praising Allah in its own way. We don't hear it, obviously, but it is praising Allah in its own way. So while it's green, right, and while it's praising Allah, because of the praise of Allah, if that person is suffering anything, then perhaps he hopes, the Prophet ﷺ said, that some of the punishment will decrease. Because the Qur'an, it's, it's, it's the remembrance of Allah. And if the person isn't being punished, then, like we can imagine now, because the Prophet ﷺ said they, it would decrease the punishment, then they would enjoy the remembrance of Allah and benefit from that remembrance. Because of that hadith, they made, the scholars made qiyas. So the, the, they say, if that's the case, if the tasbih, the remembrance of God, of the plants brings benefit imagine then the quran right so you are bringing benefit to the person in their grave remember we don't believe that people just disappear when they die they don't just disappear into nothingness they have an existence that is known to allah we don't know what that existence is like but they can benefit and what are some of the things they can benefit when you pray for them they benefit when you visit them they can hear you when you visit them and they could benefit, and they would love to hear the recitation of the Quran. Let's take a look at the Hanafi source here, Ash-Shurum Bulali. What does he say? It is recommended to recite Yasin. He narrates, because of what was been related, that whoever enters the grave and recites Yasin, whatever is happening in the grave at that time, it eases the burden. We don't know what's happening to the world of souls at that time. And he gets the Hasanat in what's in it. And to sit around the graves, he says, Ala al-Qabri here, is not discouraged. To sit down, you don't have to say the recitation standing, right? You don't have to recite standing. So around the grave you can sit, and on the grave to recite. However, he says, it's discouraged. If you're not reciting, then it's discouraged to sit on the grave. So to sit literally on the grave and recite the Qur'an on the grave, it's recommended. Yustahabu. The recitation is mustahab. The sitting on the grave is, is not discouraged. It's permitted. So forget sitting around the grave. If you sit on the grave itself. Let's go to the Shafi'i source. We go to the book al Majmua by Imam al Nawi. It is recommended for the visitor to say assalamu alaikum to all those in the grave and to pray for the one he visits and for everybody in the grave. You should not just make dua for the one person and leave everybody else. Imagine having food available for everyone, but you only feed one person. No. And dua, to, to make dua for everybody doesn't cost you anything. There's no hardship in that. So you should make, make sure you make dua for the person and then a general dua for everybody else and make dua from what's found in the sunan. And it is mustahab. Recommended to recite from the Quran what is easy to recite. And after he recites Quran, makes dua for them. Imam Shafi himself said this. And the, the Imams of the Shafi's all agree on this. Ibn Musa al Isfahani said in his book, The Manners of Visiting Graves, the visitor of the grave can sit down and he can stand. The way he wants to stand, he can stand. And if he wants to sit, he can sit. Either way, it's no different than how you would visit somebody alive. You can visit their, them uh, and just stand or just pass them by or sit down. All of that. Is fine and good. The next nas is from the Hanbali school of thought. Reciting on the grave is not discouraged. And in the graveyard, this is the dominant opinion in the school. He cites here that the scholars all recommend. They they preferred recitation. They considered it mustahab because of khabar al-jarida. What is the jarida? The branch. The Prophet ﷺ said, go and put something green like a branch of something. Because the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, if the person is suffering in their grave, they, they will be alleviated to this suffering as long as this branch remain green because the branch is always in remembrance of Allah. Living things are always in remembrance of Allah in some way, shape, and form. We don't know it, but they are. So if that's the case, then reciting Qur'an is more preferable.